Hello. And today, Charlotte's with me. And it's a pleasure because we had a package arrive today from Denmark of not your normal chili products. No. We've got chili pastries all the way from Denmark. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us about them, Charlotte, please. Yeah. It was actually, I got an email from a Danish baker. I don't think he knew I was Danish. Yes. To ask about our chili stuff. And then I just wrote back to him in Danish and we started talking and... He makes chili... All kind of Pastry cake. stuff. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I'm going to so, get into this. Tell us a bit yeah. about him, please. Well, Knull. Yeah. He owns a bakery, and I'm saying it in Danish, Tors Bakery. And Maria and Knud bought the bakery back in October 2002. Yeah. And Knud said it was like coming home again because he was a trainee there. Tors Bakery goes, history goes far back. Mm -hmm. The old, I can't say that word. Arch archives. Archives. Yep. Yeah. Goes back to 1862, and it has been a bakery since 1870. So, what's so special about this bakery? Mm -hmm. Knut is a chili head. The bakery is, in fact, famous and known not only for their very, very good bread, but also for Knut's passion for chili and the desire to experiment with the good stuff. We biscuits, fireballs, and killer snakes. We can't show you snails. the killer snails. Yeah, snails, because they're a bit broken in the post. Well, but... I, I know that. And thank you, Customs, for letting these wonderful items <laughs> through. Yeah. Big thanks there. Wow. So, can we eat it? Well, we're definitely going to oh, give it a go. These are rye bread crisps. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to say one more thing. Yes. The first one... They're crispy. Mm -hmm. The first one and a half month this year, Knut used 13 kilos of chilies in his cakes. He uses jalapenos, mm -hmm. habaneros, nagajologia, and scorpions mm. and thank you so much to Knut for sending us this I'm mm -hmm. just going to show you a little picture of Knut there he is mm, 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 mm. so this is rye bread, rye bread chips are they good they're mm -hmm. crispy I love rye bread that's a Danish bread we eat a lot of crispy slight tinge Slight chance of chili. Mm. I know that Knut use chili salt in those ones, but they're delicious. Chocolate. I'm one a big fan of chili and two a big fan of pastry. So this is just. Like this is heaven. amazing, heaven. All right. Oh. What have we got here? Those ones are called like Congo. Should we try the normal weeping biscuits first? Yeah. Would you like one, my love? Weeping biscuits. Weeping biscuits. And you can see there's heaps of chili on them. I don't know if you can see it. Let's try them. Mmm. Whoa. You can actually taste fresh chili too. Oh. Mm. They had a good oomph to them. Mm. My tongue is burning. Ooh. Wow, they're sensational. Yeah. Tongue tongue burn? Tongue burn. But it goes so so really well. It's like yeah. it's not in the biscuit, it's on the biscuit. Yeah. So you've got all the biscuit flavour, but then the I mm. actually give it good burn there. Mm, definitely. I'm saving this for That's like a m oh it's building. It's building. Yeah. Mmm. I think I'm going to like try a little cup of tea. Well, I'll save those for, ooh, ooh. the rest for later. So now these the are the same, them. but covered in chocolate, yeah? Yeah. I'm I think he calls that. them like Congo Ray. Congo mm -hmm. screams. Mm, mm, mm. Yum. Mm. They are sensational. And again, 
That chocolate is so nice. The chocolate's so nice, and it's got chili underneath it, and that's like Ooh. soft too. Yeah. Mm. I'm. Those are beautiful. Burning in my mouth. My mouth is just having a party. Mm. This is sensational. And it's starting to get the back of my throat's happening now and around the outside. Tongue settled down, but. You know what's really famous now mm. in Denmark? Even the television has been there and mm. showed the different see. chili cakes. You can see why. Yeah. Mm. And he sends all over Denmark and even to Germany. And now to and Australia. And now to Australia. Thanks. This is Ooh. awesome. Oh, the rum balls. They're not rum balls. They're fireballs. Now they are fireballs. Let's do it this. I, I don't think I can taste it right now mouth. because my mouth is on oh, fire. Well. Add coffee. That should make it sting yeah. a bit. I think mm. I have to try a little bit of your coffee. But then it will settle the flavour down and into one of these fireballs. Ooh. Well, we was That's a bit... That's got a, uh, a really good... Deal. Yeah. Some good oomph. In them so far. We were a bit surprised because mm. there was an article in the newspaper up there about Knut. Oh, fireballs. Fireballs. And even a picture of Neil and I, so I was heaps surprised that they talked about us mm. in talks in, in Denmark. Mm. Are they good? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yum. Oh wow, yum. Can't speak, they're so nice. Mm. What a good idea to add chili to. Yeah, well, those friends on my Facebook page know that I make rumbles quite yeah. often and there's a recipe up there. But nothing like this. And now there's a... <laughs> Yeah. Coming in over the top of the burn that was already there. Yeah. These are great. Mmm. We should make more chili tests like this. Mmm. Mmm. They mm. are really, really nice. They are really nice. Whoa. Mmm. You are really, really a good baker, isn't it? That's one of the nicest things I've ever eaten. And Neil has actually practiced saying Knut's now. But I won't try because I don't want to embarrass myself and I don't want to make You say it so nice. No. Can't talk with my mouth full. Mm. <laughs> they are God. amazing. Mm. <clears throat> they mm. are seriously good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now it's the killer snail. snail. And it's like, I don't know if you can like see that it's shaped like a snail. And then what I know is that should be a lot of chili in the icing, but let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can taste it, I'm burning already. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Yum. I'm still getting over those. Oh. They are seriously good. They are seriously good. Well, I'm going to have to try those now. So I'll have a bit of coffee. Ooh. They really give, mm. like, on the top of your mouth. A bit of a sting. Yeah. <sighs> Definitely. So, a snail, what do you reckon? In Danish, you call it Dreversnail, like a yeah, killer the snail. Burn, the burn from those yeah. is a nice, ooh, yeah. deep burn. The first one was like, whoo, whoo. Yeah. Mm. Killer snails, you say? Killer snails. Mmm. <laughs> I could seriously do this every day. <laughs> These are amazing. They are oh. so good. And now this burn's coming over. This has got nuggets yeah. in it, definitely. Mm. 
Well, he's not kidding when he's saying he's making chili mm. stuff. Mm. They are seriously good. Killer snakes from Tops Bakery in like north of Jutland. Jutland in Danish? Yeah, you can find I'm them on Facebook. Uh, we'll put the details up. Yeah. Follow mm. them on Facebook and if yeah. you ever visit Denmark, definitely mm. go visit Knud. If you're in and Denmark, his awesome bakery. go and visit and grab some of this. Yeah. Wow, that's like a really good Naga burn with that. Yeah. And it's building. Mm. It's not only a hint of chili, it's really. Mm, mm, mm. But, mm. Well, there you have it. That is amazing. Two thumbs, or if I had four thumbs, I would get. Now I have four thumbs. Four thumbs up for. And be getting into. Knut and his pastry. Getting into this more later. Yeah. That was truly amazing. Well, thank you so much for sending this. We had to do it today because they yeah. arrived today. And yeah, seriously going to polish off more. I don't know what happened there with the camera, but... We are back. We're back. We're still burning. And yeah, and still have a few more of these left. So I believe this will be dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, awesome. Check them out, and we'll catch you all later. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.